Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be inspecting and seeing if you can run the Honkai Star Rail on the, you know, AM5 iGPU or Zen 4. So, you know, what if you're just waiting for an AMD new release or prices going down and you just want to game a bit? So hopefully this may answer some questions. So I've loaded in the iGPU drivers for some reason it keeps uninstalling. Maybe every time I replace the CPU, remove the CPU from the socket, the Expo is currently disabled because of the, you know, what's happening to the 7000 CPUs. But also I wanted to see how well games run without Expo on the X3D. My chip is also running at a negative 30 PBO curve. Currently at 1366 by 768. This was my old laptop's resolution. The render quality or render resolution is also very important because once you set that to 2.0, say goodbye to an idle GPU. Now, if you didn't know, I've noticed that when I was playing this game last night, the starting area chugs the most out of all the areas I've been to. And, you know, I'm still like rank 11 or something like that. Once you're out of that area, though, I think you're pretty much smooth sailing, question mark. Now we're at the starting area. Well, I will test out 1080p medium settings and 1.0 render resolution. And boy, oh boy, what a juicy 20 frames per second. We're going to change the settings here at very low, which sets the render quality to 0.8. Look at that. <laughs> 30 more, well, 20 to 30 more frames. Genius. Fairly usable, to say the least. Now we're gonna enter uh, one of the backyards or the city's streets. And strangely enough, it performs almost the same as the first area. Gonna go back up a bit at 1.0 rendering quality and see how that goes. Oh, okay, 30 frames, not too bad. Let's see if we get into a fight here. Uh, okay. 30. Uh, honestly, fairly usable. <laughs> We're not really like doing some live uh, RPGing here. We're just doing some rounds, some exchanges of words, of swords, of swings, and playable. Gonna go down to 0.8 rendering quality again and go into battle, see how well that performs. Just staring at the enemies around 40 and then once battle comes in, it's... It's not that different at all, but yeah, around like plus 5 FPS, 10 FPS. Now to try to find a sweet spot, 1600 by 900 at 1.0 rendering quality. There you go. And you can definitely d feel the difference between 30 and 45. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, is, that is definitely pretty playable. No complaints here. The one major complaint I can think about is that sometimes it does lag spike. Like when you're just running around. That could be either my dated drivers, not really too dated, or it's just the game's optimization. Because even at 1.0 rendering quality, or when the GPU is not being fully used, you still feel it. Anyways, well... That was some interesting discoveries. You can definitely play this game with your iGP as long as you don't go to 2.0 rendering quality. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you get the graphics card you want. 
Um, right now, 6700 XT, 6750 XT is even going for like 330 in the US of A. I'm planning to get maybe an RX 6800 for the test bench, cooling test bench. AMD, please release something that can compete or even better than one on NVIDIA has to offer because the more they wait, the less customers they get, you know what I'm saying? But I guess if, you know, their lower end uh, last gen still sells well, why bother? Power efficiency, bro, power efficiency. Oh, as a bonus, here's 4K. Yep, 20 frames. Hmm. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.